Have you ever been scrolling through Facebook Marketplace and found something absolutely ridiculous? And you're like, what kind of idiot would buy something like that? This idiot. Yeah. That's bait. So today we show you what $1,500 will buy you on Facebook Marketplace in the Redneck Edition. It was good. Bad. It was bad. It was bad. It's good. Though. I'm not what happens when you look a little bit too much on Facebook Marketplace and you find gold. I'm not sure it's gold. I'm pretty sure it's not. Look at it. It's definitely interesting. This right here was dreamed up of drinking way too much Bud Light while having relations with your sister. If your vehicle is missing one, two, three, four, four lug nuts and the other three are loose, that's a good vehicle. And we did a very fantastic job of looking it over and making sure it was a good one. This thing is built out of pure America. What the f is that? <laughs> it wasn't, it didn't pass any test, but this right here, this is a walk to greatness. The brakes don't work. Am I on the trail? I need to work on the brakes on this thing. Oh my God. Oh, on the bright side though, look at the headliners got a leak in them. It. <laughs> so uh, that's the first thing we need to fix the brakes because they do not work at all. Like it went all the way to the floor and I'm like, please stop and it didn't stop. But it's a perfect field vehicle. Is this supposed to be that way? No, there's not a good weld on this car. I'm not even sure the factory welds are good at this point. Like every part of this car is welded together with car batteries. It's as marvelous as this vehicle might seem from the top, the bottom's not nearly as nice because here, come here, look at this. And then they're like, no, no, that's just not gonna work. So well, they ground it off and welded it there and then they're like, that's not gonna work. So let's go ahead and put the transmission cross member in with the bolt that's not even tight. And then let's, let's, let's talk about the transmission, how well is it bolted in? It's not, it's not even bolted. There is no bolts holding the tranny. There is five zip ties holding the shifter cable. We have changed our outfit. I believe that this outfit will just allow this car to run better because while this car at one time was a show car in Arkansas, I mean, I will give you that, it's not very good. It does not run, it does not drive, it does not stop, it kind of steers and look, headlights are kind of falling out. The Lincoln emblem has gone off of Lincoln. And look, look, see right here? We got the dipstick for the transmission in the back seat where it obviously is supposed to be. And uh, it definitely looks like somebody had a little bit too much Taco Bell and uh, decided to drive the Lincoln Town Car. Now we all know Lincoln Town Cars are luxury vehicles. Normally rich old men drive these to go golfing. The one thing I want to know is where he was going golfing in a car like this. <laughs> On top of a mountain? Through a mud bog, probably. Yeah. This car was a legitimate show car in Arkansas. This car went to shows and somehow, some way, the shows must have been blind because it took home trophies. Yeah, it's time to see if we can make this thing run because currently it does not run at all. Guys, I've cleaned out all the Bud Light. I've checked the transmission fluid. I've installed about 300 new components. And let me tell you guys, it don't run any better. I don't know how the hell this thing works. I don't think one single person that's ever worked in this car has been sober. They've all been drunk. Every one of them. Like, look at this ground cable. Let's just touch, well, instead of actually hooking it to the battery post is right here, let's just put the wrong battery in it and cut the wire off and then wrap it around. Do you see a hole for the dipstick? That's fine, we'll just shove it that direction right there. I'm sure that'll do something. It'll be fine. It's not gonna get any worse than it already is, trust me. All right, guys, I have literally spent ages trying to make this car run. It set off a car alarm. All right, let's try that again. This thing smokes worse than the smoke sting, and this is gasoline. Like, look at this. God damn, it's smoking a lot. Hold on, I gotta find... This 
our new brake fluid cap. Don't tell anybody. Okay, let's go ahead and check on our fuel system. Oh my God, dude. Our fuel system got all jacked up. There we go. Let's get that back in there, right? This is the return line. It might be, is that a gas? No, we got a little bit left. Okay, we're good. Okay, is the wire still hooked up? Okay, wire. Yeah, I bought this as an on-runner and uh, I worked on it for literally two weeks to make it this nice. It's very nice. <laughs> That's a vent hose, in case you guys didn't know. Okay, let's see if the fuel pump's working. Look at this luxurious interior. Somebody stole the radio, but that's okay. Look at all these buttons. <sighs> now, I think we got it fixed. We poured a little bit of Bud Light into the fuel tank, and now let's see if it'll start. Come on, baby. What's up? Come on. Oh, the trunk's gotta be open. Ah, trunk's gotta be open. <laughs> <laughs> we we wired the fuel pump to the trunk <laughs> to the oh, trunk light. Oh, I did that earlier. I'm like every time the trunk open. So the car will only run with the trunk open. That's right. So that's gonna, that's yeah. fine. Watch this. The trunk's now open because don't worry about our wiring job. What's happening is the, the wind is pushing the trunk down. Well, I think we might have to find a better fuel pump relay. What do you think? It is hooked up. The new fuel cell is rocking and rolling. The return line is installed. The wires are running now to the jump box. And if you listen, right here's the ground wire. Touch it. We've got a fuel pump, so I'm just going to take and hook this to this for right now, and then maybe we'll start this up and get it up there closer to the shop. That way we can do more permanent repairs. We're probably not going to do any more permanent repairs. This is probably just going to have to stay. Uh, she's not going to make it. I just don't think it's going to work. I just think this car is officially too much junk. This is why you just don't buy everything that you find on Facebook Marketplace for 1500 bucks. You hear that? Sound like a little bit like a diesel? It's just identifying as a 12 valve, that way we want to put a 12 valve in it. It needs a Cummins. It already wants to smoke, look at it. Better just check, make sure it's not on fire. It kind of seems like it might be on fire. Woo! Whoa. Smell that? That's $1,500 worth of Facebook Marketplace, that's what that is.
say this engine's toast. Look at the black hot out this way. <sighs> yep. It was a good idea. Just the wrong car. Or, it actually, it was a good idea. It was just the wrong engine. The little 4.6 just couldn't do it. And to be fair, from what I've seen of this car, like looking at the radiator cap and everything else, I must say this 4.6 has had a very, very rough life. Very rough. Hmm. Oh well. I guess I gotta walk back to the house now. I've got a couple knocks in my engine. Someone stole my gasoline. <laughs>